Well, <clears throat> it's never going to be, uh, at least I don't foresee in the immediate future, it's, it's not going to be popular with the professional philosophers. It, it requires it requires quite a quite a bit of training of getting back into that medieval spirit to see where he started from, and they're not willing to do that. They're all into the more particular modern things, so that it's not going to become popular, I think, among the professional philosophers. However, I think the students are more and more looking for more synthetic visions of the whole. So it's quietly coming back as one option, one kind of alternative vision, one option which they might like to look at. And um, uh, so it is, it is quietly spreading. Now, strange to say, one of the best ways of getting a job in philosophy when you finish your PhD to say you're a specialist in St. Thomas. That would, would have been you know, astonishing to hear some years ago. But that's now the case because so many places would like to have somebody representing St. Thomas. And not the whole department, but that's coming back now. And um, they were the recent University of St. Thomas in Houston just graduated their first PhDs, and people said, oh, they'll never be able to get jobs. All snatched up quickly, no problem. So even places like, places like Columbia and Princeton are now having a little seminar between them on ethics, and they want to do it on Aristotle and St. Thomas's ethics. The leading ethicist in the country, one of the leading ones, Alastair McIntyre, real hot property, as they say, he was a great figure. He's now, he went over to study uh, St. Thomas during the summer in Oxford with his old classmate, Father Herbert McCabe, the Dominican, to study St. Thomas, because he's been drawn into that more and more, that you can't solve the things without something like a natural law. So it's coming back, especially through ethics, more and more. They're very interested in, in the Thomistic theory of virtue, and ethics and natural law. It's coming in through there rather than the metaphysics, but they'll be drawn into the metaphysics through the ethics more. So the ethics, he's, he's got a strong place in ethics around the country, steadily growing. The, the, the metaphysics is behind the scenes, but that's uh, just quietly spreading. So that'll be in there as with a real appeal to students, I think. And there'll always be then, perhaps a slightly growing number of professors will be able to, to do that. And we'll use that as a um, as part of their repertoire. So it won't be any more dominant, but it'll be as a uh, respected part of a pluralistic philosophy department.